now that we're recording, um, so during this webinar today, we're going to show off what the Avance uh, 1501C 2020 can do. Uh, Sean Gadeas, uh, our lead embroidery tech, is going to walk you through um, using the control panel, and we're actually going to do some 3D puff, 3D embroidery onto a cap. But the first thing I want to talk about is if you're, if you're not in the embroidery business yet, you don't have a, an embroidery machine or you haven't done any commercial work, there's a couple of things that you should um, understand before you get to the machine itself. And the first one is digitizing or getting the graph, graphics created. Now, all of our or most of our machines come with um, digitizing software, and uh, it's, it's great for you to learn how to do that. Um, but it's also handy to have somebody have a professional on tap um, that can turn around great digitized file in a short period of time. So I'm going to introduce you to Coldesi Graphics and show you how that works. And then you've got to have, have a source for blank garments. And I'm going to show you online a uh, Coleman and Company's source for buying blanks. We're going to be using a, a cap that you can get right off the Coleman and Company website uh, today. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to the screen. Give me a second. It's just going to pause for a moment. Okay, so here we go. Welcome to coldesi-graphics.com. Now, if you haven't been to this website, you really should. Even if you're a pro right now, these guys do some amazing embroidery. What you can do here is you can log in and you can uh, do, you can get them to digitize small or large embroidery. Uh, you can get them to do patches. You can get them to do 3D puff. puff. Whatever you would like to do um, in the embroidery world, you can have these guys do a design. I'm just gonna walk you uh, through really quickly some of their capabilities. Because we had a, uh, we had a sample here done just to, just to test our graphics team out. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but you see that there is basically a, a drawing of a dog. Um, and it was for a barbecue event that our sales manager here was participating in. And his barbecue team is called the Bond Dogs. And so he wanted some signage and maybe a couple of t-shirts with it. So they drew out this concept and made some notes. They found some graphics online that they kind of wanted to emulate. They gave them this as kind of this is the way and the shape that they wanted the design to take. And in the end, after everything, they ended up with this. So they ended up with signage uh, that you can see here that they were able to hang up at the barbecue event. So that's kind of the extent of the services or the breadth of the services. What I wanted to show you is something really specific to what we're going to be uh, sewing out. And that is uh, this Coldesi 3D Puff. Okay, terrific. So what you'll see is I took the Coldesi logo and I asked them just to use the script up here and to turn that into Puff. I wanted to see what it looked like in white and that we were going to sew it out onto a cap. So that's what Coldesi Graphics did, is they took this part of the logo, they digitized it specifically for Puff, and they sewed it out, as you can see from the seam in the middle, onto a cap. So by the time we got this file, we know that it works. And the first sew out we did was pretty amazing, so we're hoping it goes just as well live. But this is what it's like to deal with somebody like Coldesi Graphics. Now, after getting your design done, the next thing that you're gonna to need to do is go and find the caps that you're going to design on. Now, we've got a service, or we've got products available now on the Coleman & Company website, which I'm gonna find. There you go. So if you go up to Wholesale Apparel, uh, you can go in straight and look for the caps that you want. We have some five panel and six panel caps. I think we are doing the uh, Port Authority Snapback truck, Trucker Cap, the C112. So the, um, so you can order blanks of, of just about any kind. You get t-shirts and accessories and bags here. And the nice part about dealing with uh, Coleman and Company and buying blanks here is that they're not gonna ask you for a reseller certificate. There's no minimums. And when you order embroidery supplies or printer supplies, you can just tack your hat um, order on with that and you're gonna hear a lot about the rewards points you're gonna be able to earn um, coming up shortly too. So I am gonna flip back over the video here and ask you guys if you have any questions. Okay, no questions. Oh, wait a minute. How long did it take you to, um, to get that file embroidered? 
Uh, well, it took me four days. It was supposed to take three days. That's the way I ordered it. But I had placed my order and forgot to upload the logo. Um, so it took me a day to get that email back uh, to correct it. But it took three days. And it was right the first time. We didn't have to correct it or anything. Oh, um, we had another question of what else that they do. So they do embroidery digitizing. They do print graphics, as you saw from the sign. They will do t-shirt graphics. So if you tell them you are going to be printing on DTG or on a digital heat FX white toner printer, they will actually create graphics that's made for that digital process, OK? Um, all right, so that was it from me. Next, I am going to point the camera at Sean <laughs> and ask him to kind of walk you through loading a design and doing puff on caps. Hello, I'm Sean. Uh, this is new Avance 1501 2020. As you can see, I've got our hat already hooped with the puff uh, stabilized down. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of this job and start loading our new job. Yeah, let me get a little bit closer so you can see the... Give it a second to focus. If it does, yes, that looks there great. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top left corner, select our job, the next screen. To show us that this is our job, this is our size. Scale it, um, mirror it, you'd be all that be able to done right here. This is our color order. The nice thing about this is I could assign these 15 thread colors to the actual cones of thread I have on the embroidery machine so that when you're visually seeing the design on screen, you're gonna actually see it in the colors the design will sew out yeah. in. So it makes it more appealing. By the way, this is a big time saver than trying to count your thread cones every time to figure out if number seven is yellow. Correct. Right. Right. You just be able to look on screen and see that it, uh, number five is yellow and seven is red. Makes okay. it a little bit more easier. So for this design, uh, we're using blue puff. I want to choose the blue color, which is number four. You see, it turned it to blue on screen. For our next one, in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the cap frame. I'm going to choose our cap frame here. You've also got other size frames. Depends on what you're sewing. Allows you to choose. Once we do that, we'll go ahead and do our trace, this button here. And you're gonna see as it traces with the red dot and the red dotted line around it, if it goes outside the sewing field, the box will turn red, letting you know it is not gonna fit in the appropriate size. You would have to readjust or find a different hoop. And right, and the reason that's important, by the way, is because if you are doing this manually, then there is a chance that you will miss something and actually the needle will hit a hoop. And that causes problems for the machine. Yeah, that definitely will cause the machine to be down. If everything looks good, we'll go to our other screen. We'll go into embroidery status to lock this job in. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's grayed out. It's upside down automatically since we are sewing on a hat. Uh, we're going to sew at 700 stitches a minute. Our next key is to go ahead and hit the start. It'll switch to needle four. And we'll pick up and start sewing. Hold on. I'm just going to move this camera around a little bit so you can see. There we go. All right, so can you describe a little bit what's happening right here, Sean? Yeah, so what it's doing, um, it's sewing the word coldesi, and the satin stitches are wider than you would normally sew, allowing for the puff to um, stick out as a 3D model. Uh, if you're doing really thin font, the puff is too thin, you're not gonna be able to see it as a 3D. So you wanna make sure your stitches are a little bit larger. And as you notice, it started in the middle of the hat. Whenever you do hats, you want to try starting in the middle and work your way out. Right. Um, and that, that, that has to do with the way the file is digitized. That is correct. So, for example, like Mark said at, Col at uh, Coldesi Graphics, when you're filling out the form for them to do the job for you, you're telling them that this job is for a hat. So they know to start from the middle and work your way out. If it's a left chest, they'll digitize it differently. Right. Um, now, the, the foam there comes in different colors. Yes, it does. You get all of those from ColemanandCompany.com. Uh, why did you pick the blue? Um, the gray hat and the black, I think blue would stand out. So you want the color to pop. So do you want the, does the foam color have to match the thread? I would. Um, otherwise, if this was, say, uh, we're sewing in blue thread and we chose, say, a red foam, you'd be able to see red sometimes behind the stitches. Ah, uh, okay. So you want to try choosing the same color so you, uh, you don't have that effect afterwards. Um, and when we're finished, if there is any foam still sticking out, um, you just take a heat gun, heat it up, and the foam kind of just shrivels up inside the stitches so you get a nice clean sew out. Yep. And the nice thing about this is while this one is sewing, 
since you do get two cap frames, if you've got multiple jobs of the same design, you're already hooping your next cap to be ready. So when this one's finished, you're able to pull this one off, put your next cap on, press start, unhoop this one, hoop your next one, fold it, clean it up, and put it away. Yep. Now, you've been in the business for a long time. From a sales perspective, mm -hmm. um, can you charge more for a puff cap, do you think, than you can for a flat? Um, you can. Uh, due to the fact that it's, it's a little more time consuming with the puff because when it's done, it's not just take it off the hoop, fold it, and put it away. You've got to clean the puff out. Especially if you've got small areas, for example, like in the DESI, you've got the E and the S, really small areas, you've got to sit there and you've got to pick the, the foam out. Right. Um, so it's a little more time consuming. You basically want to charge for what your time is worth. Okay. I mean, as you can see, I mean, the camera's right up on it. I'm right next to it. And, you know, it's, it's not loud at all. It's a very quiet machine. So if you have this in your apartment or in a shop and you've got customers you're taking care of, there's not going to be any disruption. We are just going to watch this, sh this sew out for a minute. By the way, the cost on this cap from Coleman and Company is $4.10. So most caps with a, a custom puff design on them are going to sell from anywhere between $15 and $25, really, depending on how many you order and where you are. Correct. Okay, we've got a question. Does the cap frame come with the machine, and what else comes with the machine? Yes. Um, yeah, definitely. I'm going to pull this back just a little bit. What I think I'll do is I'll grab the box of the other hoops so you can take okay. a look. All right, Sean, I'm going to let you call out the sizes. Okay. You get two of these, which are the 150 okay. millimeter, and you get two of these, which are the 90 centimeters, right? And two of these, which is the 120 centimeters. Two of these, and it's the 200 or 20 centimeters. One of these jacket backs. Well, two of these, you two of the 12 by 12, 12 by 12, and we need to get the uh, the big jacket back. The green one in the office, and then the frame, the, the solder frame. Here you go, Mark. This is the 21 by 14 inch. Yep, thanks. Large and jack back. You'll get one of those. And if you if you take a look, you might have used this on on this particular um, garment, right? A jacket, yes, definitely. And um, what's nice about this new Avance 1501 2020 is it comes standard with the border frame. Right. Um, if you're sewing blankets, drapes, um, quilts, this is nice because you can hoop it with the black um, placement uh, guides, done sew in that section, move it over, reclamp it, and sew the next section. You kind of like butt up your embroidery so it's like one right. continuous strand. So picture a table runner that you run through here, it clamps. Yep. Then when you're finished with one section, you move it down a bit, hit embroider again, and it Correct. keeps going. Okay, it keeps cool. going. And then you get the cap driver, which is on the machine with two cap frames. Yep. So you get two of those. There's a few other things about the uh, a new Avance 1501C 2020 that you should know, and one of my favorites is that you can hold up to 800 designs in the memory. Wow. And I don't know if you saw it when Sean first entered this design, but they are all, um, they're little thumbnail images of each one. So if you've got regular customers, you do their logos, if you've got your own designs that you do over and over again, you can basically fit any, every embroidery design you're gonna do for years on the machine. Um, or you can uh, store up to a million stitches, so it's one or the other. That has to do with memory size. How much is Coldesi Graphics digitizing and can they give me a quote? Um, that's a great question. You can actually go in before you order and just select quote instead of order. 
And um, a regular logo, we did the Coldassi Graphics logo the other day, and I think it was about $15 to get that done. And it looks like we're coming into the end. Yep. Now there are two new, well, one new standard feature and one adjusted feature. Yes. And that's now you've got a, uh, you've always had a light on the Avance. Yes, you have. Um, now you've got a, a little bit longer arm so you can see things in the front for if you're doing embroidery and you need to uh, thread your needles, for example. Yeah. And you've also got the laser. You want to turn that on? Which is the button right here turns on the laser and then while the machine is running the laser is deactive but basically what it is is it's this right here and you have it pointing directly towards the hole on the needle plate so when you're doing your trace as I did in the beginning you're watching a red laser go around to make sure it's gonna fit where you want it on the shirt for one and also to make sure it's gonna fit in the hoop Let me do this in the end so you can actually hear the machine running. Okay. It's probably one of the things that we like the most internally about the machine is how quiet it is. Yes. Because we uh, we plan on having a bunch of them in the training room. Yes, we and do. you've got a classroom full of machines going at the same time, it can be a little loud. So this yeah. is gonna be a relief. And, and you know, our uh, you know, the Avance we sold was, was quiet as well. This one is even more. Yeah, exactly. More quieter than the other one. We're getting close to uh, 5,400 stitches. The job has 6,000. So why are we running the, um, I know the machine will do 1,200 stitches a minute. Correct. Why are we running it? at this speed for a cap? Um, well, if you look at the cap, the cap's rounded, so it's not sitting flat on the machine. So the cap actually sits above the needle plate. So you have roughly maybe like an eighth of an inch distance. So when it sews, it hits the, the fabric to push down to the needle plate and then pops back up. So you want to slow the machine down so that you get more accurate and um, less issues down the road than sewing at 1,200 stitches a minute. Gotcha. It's all about quality, not quantity. And as you can see, the machine will speed up and slow down uh, according to the size of the stitches. Goes back to the center. Shows the job is complete. That's it. That's it. So what we can do here is I'll just take it off the machine first to show you. And there's the cold Essie. So basically with the foam, because of the, the needle penetrations, it goes ahead and perforates it. Wow, that looks great. And there look you at guys, that. Take the little, kind of take the piece angle, out of the O. Is take it the little o? piece out of the O. And there's the S. And you got the, there you go. And if you kind of see it at an angle, you can kind of see how it's raised off the hat. That is what is known as 3D. Yeah, so um, that's a big deal. You can get a little bit of extra money on it. And uh, it will really, depending on the graphic that you are putting on a cap, it'll really make it stand out. There you go. And we've just got one more version over there that we can show off while. Oh, yes. We did black and blue earlier for a test sew out, which of course we highly recommend. Yes, always do a sample of, of your, your, your work before putting on the customer's uh, garment. Make sure you get the right colors and everything is set properly. All right. Um, thanks, Sean. I just wanted to say uh, that's it for the webinar today. Um, nothing that you saw here was extra, except you will have to buy a uh, little piece of foam to do yes. the 3D. Uh, <laughs> but everything comes with it. You get the 15 cones of thread. You get all the hoops that we've talked about. You get an initial supply of, of backings and yep. toppings. Um, so you get all the needles. little tools that you need, the sundries that you'll need to, to start your embroidery business. So if you have any questions, any more questions <laughs> about the new Avance 1501C, just head to avance-emb.com which we're gonna put as a link right now. Okay. And uh, you can chat with one of our, uh, one of our account managers. Cool. All right, thanks everybody. Thank you. Bye.